Watch the video to the end to find out how I turned this pigeon into these bacon wrapped bundles of goodness. What's going on guys, we're here today. We're actually gonna be something a little bit different that I've never done on the channel before. Now first off, I wanna give you guys a little bit of background information. Now I live right across from a dairy farm and in the, at the dairy farm they got pigeons, they got starlings, all that stuff, it's awful. They get into the barns and they poop and stuff in there. It's not good for the cows and it's not good for the production really. So within the past couple of years, I've actually been over there shooting pigeons for a while, but really, I probably shot near about 50 pigeons, and there's still pigeons over there. They just repopulate. It's actually, it's absolutely crazy. But what those pigeons have done is they've come onto our property, gotten in our barn, and uh, well, th that's pretty much how far they've got so far. But I'm gonna stop them before they do anything else. Like, I don't want them to set up a little nest in there. I don't want them to do anything like that because then they'll get. Uh, a little too comfortable in there and it might become a bigger problem down the road. So to make a long story short, we're gonna be dealing with some of those pigeons in this video. Now the air rifle of choice is just a gamo air rifle. It's nice, I got it at uh, Kane Tire, I don't know how much it was, but yeah, just a gamo air rifle, pretty simple. And the pellets we're gonna be shooting today are these gamo rocket pellets. They're like kind of like a BB and a pellet. Anyway, they're a little bit heavier than regular pellets, so they should be a little bit better for pest control. But as it stands, this air rifle is not sighted in for these pellets. At least I don't think it is. So we're gonna go over there, I got a little target set up, and we're gonna sight this thing in, and then we're gonna go hunt some pigeons. It's gonna be a good video. So I've got a little box down there, and I'm just gonna be taking a few shots at it to see what the groupings are like. All right, so this is a break barrel air rifle, meaning that you have to break the barrel like this. You just kind of, it's on like a hinge system. These aren't the most accurate rifles, and this is a spring powered one as well. So it's not as accurate compared to like a nitro piston break barrel, but it still does pretty good. So we're gonna load a shot in there. Now, I know this is a really close distance, but this is actually gonna be the distance that I'm probably gonna be shooting the pigeons at since they're in our barn. That actually hit the target kind of where I was aiming. We're gonna go take a look at that. See, so as you can see right there, that's where I was aiming. This little, I have a little dot right there, and that's I was, you know, aiming for right there, and I hit right there. So that's actually not really bad. We're gonna take a couple more shots, and we're gonna see what happens. This might be more sighted in than I thought it was. That was where I was aiming. That's that's a lot better than I thought we had it. That's actually pretty decent. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're gonna do. That's that's it. We don't have to sight it in, really, I think. I think I'm gonna step a little bit further back, go back about there, try to see what happens, but that's pretty much it for the sighting. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take another shot, see what happens. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we're gonna go try to shoot a pigeon. Okay, so for the pigeons, they're actually over here in one of our barns. That barn back there, to be specific, and we're gonna actually have to kind of be a little bit quiet because you don't know. They're actually not that afraid of me when I go up there, so, but we're gonna have to a little bit, be a little bit stealthy for this. Lately, they've been actually hiding up on that barn right there where the tip of the barrel is. They've actually kind of hiding up on that barn. I'm not hiding, they've been just kind of been up there in the sun, but they've actually infiltrated this barn, and I just found that actually, I found that out today, so. All right, so here goes, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to put you guys down for a second. We'll figure this out. Now, from what I know, they're actually up here in the loft, but I can't see them from here, but that doesn't mean they're not there, so. I'm gonna get a ladder, I'm actually gonna climb up there. Huh, there's actually nothing here right now. No pigeons here right now, anyway. Oh! Okay, there actually was a pigeon. It just flew. It just flew out from... from right there. I'm gonna grab my gun, and I'm gonna wait here until the pigeon comes back, because it sure is gonna come back. Just gonna chill and wait, wait until it comes back, I guess. He's been here like about a couple times. I have We stink and got one, boys. We stink and got one. Oh my gosh, I knew we'd get one. Stink and go. There we go, perfect shot. And we dome pieced that guy right there. Couldn't ask for a better shot. Bam, just like that, we got a, we got a nice pigeon there with the air rifle. We got, a, it looks like we got a headshot on him, so that's just perfect. So there was another one, he got away, but man, we managed to get one. So I'm gonna actually clean this guy up. We're gonna cook him. I'll probably cook him tomorrow, most likely. Yeah, it's getting a little bit dark, so 
I'll probably, uh, maybe I'll clean them up tonight. I'm, I think I'm just gonna breast them out. And then we're gonna be eating some stinking pigeon poppers, hopefully. So you guys stay tuned for that. That's gonna be pretty awesome. But man, I'm just super psyched, man, just get one with the air rifle. That's awesome. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna be cooking some pigeon poppers. All right, guys, it's the next day. We're out here in my porch. I'm just gonna be stinking cooking this stuff up. This is gonna be really good. We're gonna be making some jalapeno pigeon poppers, okay? We got some fresh jalapenos from the store. Got my mom to pick me up this stuff because, you know, she was in town. So I got her to pick it up for me. But yeah, we got the pigeon breast right here. We got some bacon over here. You guys know I love bacon. And then we got some cream cheese right here. And actually, I need to go grab a fork real quick. Or actually, a spoon. A spoon would be good. Spoon acquired. Okay, now, so the first step, what we're going to do, we got our jalapenos, right? Going to take these out of the package. Going to get a couple of these to start right here. Got my knife. All we're going to do is we're going to cut the little, you know, stem off the jalapeno right there. Cut that off, and then we're gonna cut the jalapeno directly in half. Gonna grab my spoon, and we're just gonna kinda take all the seeds out, unless you like really spicy stuff, in which case you can leave those in, but I'm not a big fan of spicy stuff, so. I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried, uh, actually, I've never tried jalapeno poppers before, so it should be good. Sorry about the focus. My camera, is like, I have to manually adjust the focus. There's no continuous autofocus in video, so. I'm gonna be getting a new camera soon, so shouldn't have to worry about that here soon but if this tastes good this is gonna be pretty awesome because I have like close to 100 pigeons just across the road from me if this tastes good that that'll be pretty awesome I have tried pigeons a couple times and I haven't really figured out a way to make it taste super good pigeon pie was not bad so now we got we got two peppers cut up there all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these they're a decent little size right there I'm just gonna cut these all in half like so and we have all these Pieces like this. I'm gonna set these things off to the side. I'm gonna make sure I don't get any of those seeds. I'm gonna set these guys all off to the side. We're gonna get the main star of the show, the pigeon. Like I said I was gonna do, I ended up just, uh, you know, breasting out the pigeon because that's where the main part of the meat is on a pigeon. They're pretty small once you get the feathers off. So yeah, we got our pigeon here. Like I said, debreast it. So we got two breasts right here. All that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these bad boys in half and then down the side like that. Now this is a recipe that a lot of dove hunters like to use, you know, it's a really good recipe for dove. But pigeon is just a big dove, so we're gonna use it for, for the pigeon here. Now I'm gonna grab the cream cheese, we're just gonna pop this thing open here. I never figure out how to open these things without ripping the whole thing. To open, separate seams on top of package and pull apart. Sounds easy enough. Once you actually do it, it's not that easy. Okay, never mind, that actually was pretty easy. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my spoon, probably that much cream cheese, maybe a little more, and each half, not each half, every second half, I'm gonna put some cream cheese, fill it with cream cheese, just like that, you guys can see. I'm gonna do that for every second one, because the other half of the pepper is where we're gonna be putting uh, the pigeon. And there's the last one right there. Bam! Now all I got here is just some SPG, some salt, pepper, garlic I just whipped up, you know. It's gonna be pretty decent here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this olive oil right here. It's gonna pour a little bit over the pigeon. Cause pigeon's pretty lean, I'm telling you. Well, some of them are kinda fat, but there's not much fat in this meat. And so we're just gonna give it a little bit of something, you know, to cook with. And then the bacon will also be fatty, so I'll add some fat as well. We've got some SPG, like I said. We're just gonna shake that over the pigeon. Give it a little, give it a little seasoning. Now that we got our pigeon, all seasoned up and whatever. We're gonna put it in the other half of the pepper. We're gonna do that with each one. Now I'm gonna grab the bacon. There we go. First we're gonna shake a few toothpicks out. That'll be good. Just gonna take the one half with the pigeon. We're gonna take the other cream cheese. We're gonna put them together like that. We're gonna grab the bacon and we're gonna put it, wrap it right up, just like so. We're gonna grab our toothpick and shove it right through. And bam, just like that, a masterpiece. Pigeon cream cheese, seasoning the bacon. That is gonna be Good. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other ones, and then I'll get back to you when they're all done. Enjoy this time lapse, I guess. Bam, and just like that, this is what they look like. All They look really, really nice. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab each one, we're gonna put it on this pan, and then we're gonna put them all in the oven, and then we're gonna eat them. Okay, so here we go, the moment we've all been waiting for. They were cooked, they've been they've been cooking, uh, they were cooking for a little while anyway. But they're actually looking pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Just gonna pop that skewer right out of there. So it's got cream cheese, it's got the pigeon, it's got bacon, it's got the jalapeno pepper. I'm just gonna go full send. That's actually really good. It's actually super spicy as well, because those are jalapenos, and I don't do well with spice. I took the seeds out, but they're still pretty hot. Now, I'm going to skip the water. I'm just going to get a little bit of milk. Goodness, son. That's a little bit hotter than I figured it would be. I'll try one more for you guys here on camera. There's a little view of it. Focus on there. You can see great. You got the cream cheese. 
Got the pigeon in there. Bacon on the outside. Sorry about the lighting. It's pretty weird lighting in here, but anyway, here we go. That's a good recipe right there. I'm also really hot. So yeah, I actually managed to make pigeon. Tastes good. Now obviously there's, you know, it's kind of been wrapped in bacon and encased in cream cheese and jalapeno peppers, but we managed to make it taste good. I, I didn't taste any gamey flavor in that at all, so that's actually, that's a win in my book. We shot a pigeon, we cleaned the pigeon, we cooked the pigeon, and I just ate the pigeon, and it's pretty darn good, so. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe, all that stuff. It supports me in the channel and lets me know that you guys want to see more. And also, please make sure to check out my sponsors, Duke Traps, Dan Beaver Trapping Supplies, and Long Creek Trapping Supplies. Links are going to be in the description down below. But other than that, we'll see you guys in the next one.